Welcome back to Open Line. Talking with Metro Councilman Jeremy Elrod. He's chair of the Public Works Committee. He was a primary sponsor of Google Fiber One Touch Law. We've been talking about that the first half of the program. I want to, we'll open it up, talk about Public Works, some of the big issues uh, that you're seeing mm -hmm. there in the Metro Council involving Public Works. What, what kind of is on your plate there? Sure. Uh, well, um, once I came into uh, the council and was appointed uh, chairman of the Public Works Committee by uh, the Vice Mayor, uh, Vice Mayor Briley, um, I think one of the frustrating things that I saw was there uh, there wasn't a uh, a list of projects. Like as a councilman, I wanted to, you know I was coming in new. I wanted to find out what streets were going to get paved, what sidewalks were going to get paved. You know, it may not happen in the next year or two, but I wanted to be able to tell my constituents, hey, you're going to get a sidewalk in four years. Um, but there wasn't anything in place for that, and so. Uh, there were a lot of other council members I think that had similar frustrations. So um, there were uh, discussions going uh, between different departments. Uh, Metro Water has got a uh, an online system where there's a, uh, they start cataloging basically on maps and that kind of thing of where their projects are going to be, and now that's getting uh, put in implemented across metro government, primarily public works. So um, eventually there's going to be an online. Um, a portal or dashboard or something that you can go to and you can see where projects in your neighborhood on your street or in your area you know you'll have a better idea of you know the engineering for that sidewalks being done so it's going to take a little while to acquire the right of way and then after that it'll get built you know you're going to have a lot more information and you want it to go through your councilman you want it to dig through a bunch of you know lists online or you know on excel spreadsheets or go to somebody's office it'll be an online portal and that's getting put together by uh, by metro government ITS public works metro water and a lot of folks across metro government that does seem like people would love that yes. so that you could you could go look at your street and see is it on a list to, to be repaved or look at your area and see are there going to be sidewalks put in here and here? That's the goal? That, that, that's what I'm told. I haven't seen it yet, but, but that's something that um, I know I've been pushing at the, along with several other council members. If we just want to know when is our street getting paved, you know, when, is our, when are our sidewalks getting put in our neighborhoods, um, that way you know, we know as a council member, but also we know for budgeting purposes of if there's not enough sidewalks being put in, if there's not enough roads being put in, is that something we need to put more money towards? Um, we just want to see something on a map, something on a list of th this is when sidewalks are getting done. And if there's more sidewalks in District 25 and district 26 where I am you know maybe there's a good reason for that maybe there's not but they're just basically more information more disclosure and more transparency uh, for Metro government and public works so when it comes to public works sidewalks is that the biggest issue or what what or, or a major issue where do where do sidewalks and, and where they're going at? it seems like we've been spending a lot more money on sidewalks mm -hmm. um, but has that been one of the big issues you, you focused on? That, I think that's been one of the big issues. And Mayor Barry has has made a point since she's become mayor. I know very early on in this past budget of investing in sidewalks. And, I, and as a council member, I really appreciate, I think because she's a former council member, she knows that she needs to, that those investments really help, not just as council members, but as neighborhoods. Um, you know, we're having a lot more traffic, uh, not just on our main roads, but on our neighborhood streets. I know um, Caldwell Abbey Hall, where I live, they have, uh, you know, traffic protests in the morning and in the afternoons because the traffic, you know, cut through traffic's so bad through there. But you need more sidewalks so folks, you know, I've one of the streets in, in uh, Farrell Parkway, there's a mom that, that wants to walk her kids back and forth to school, but there's a lot of speeders, uh, so it's just not a safe street. So they, we need more sidewalks. There have been a lot more investments in that, but I, I think no matter, how, no matter how much money we put into sidewalks, there's not going to be enough because we're, we, as a city, we're so far behind in being a walkable city um, that but anything that we do, I think, will be positive, whether it's you know, investing money, finding out where they're going to be put in. Um, Walk Back Nashville is going through a process now where they're finding out basically where the needs are. Every, every street wants a sidewalk, but where are the biggest needs? And they're having, um, there's an, I, I can't remember if the survey is still available online, uh, but they're still having meetings talking about basically putting, um, uh, updating the, the sidewalk map of, of where are the new, you know, prioritizing where new sidewalks are going to go because there's an antiquated old map that wasn't adhered to or paid attention to. So, there, And also there's a lot more planning going around between um, there's the, uh, the Nashville Next, Metro Planning, Public Works, and Parks is also doing. So I, whether it's uh, the departments or I think it's also something from the administration, Mayor Barry's administration, of doing a lot more planning and coordination between departments. And I know as a council member that's really, it's, it's something that's not going to pay off
you know, the next six months, but you're, they're putting in place, uh, I guess, processes that are going to be a lot more beneficial instead of just this hodgepodge, ad hoc way of, of doing projects. Why do you think it was done that way? Because that does, it does seem like there should be a list. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe they didn't want debate over the list, because anytime there's a list, there's going to be debate. Yes. And that maybe is part of the reason. Yes. Or maybe there was just no list, and that makes you think, what are they doing? There's just willy-nilly. So what, what, what do you think was going on years ago or whatever? How, how, why wasn't there a list, do you think? I think, it, I think you kind of hit on part of it is, is if there's a list of, you know, there's 35 council districts and you see the sidewalks in every, in, in every district, you know, he's getting a sidewalk and I'm not, so you're, you're not going to be in favor of the list. Um, I think part of it also is just us as a city growing up some. You know, we there's a list that is put together uh, by Public Works and, you know, there's politics that are played with lists. But I think also we as a city are just having to grow up more. We're having to, to, to be a lot more technologically advanced as a city um, and just a lot more planning. And Metro, I think, is going through some of those growing pains, but I think they're going about it, at least so far. We're still, as a council, going to be watching and seeing how they're doing it. But they're trying to put together a lot more planning to where uh, we're not a city of uh, a few thousand people. We're, I, I I forget the, I mean, we're going to have, what, a million people move here in the next few years. So I think our metro government and our planning is starting to, uh, I guess, uh, keep up with where, from where we had such a deficit for a long time. So I know uh, Public Works has just had a, a new interim director that's uh, doing some studying about how they're going to be going forward as a department. Um, looking forward to how that turns out because there's a net, net Nashville has grown a lot more than than I, I think metro government has kept up with, but they're they're I think they're trying to catch up now. At least at least it appears that way. We're still going to uh, see how it turns out. As chair of public works, we've talked about a couple of the major issues: sidewalks and and Google Fiber and, the, and One Touch. What what are what are some of the other major issues? What are the biggest concerns you may have, and and your biggest goals for? this part of our public works when sure. we talk about those things? Um, I think it's something that's really big um, because we're moving, you know, we need to, you know, I drive my car everywhere. I don't take any transit really because there's not, I can't get to transit really from my house. But we're being a lot more walkable city, a lot more bike friendly city, um, and we need to be a lot more transit focused city. And But w the way to do that is is uh, we need to have access for walkers, for people that are pedestrians, bike riders. Um, right now, I don't think we're that friendly of a city. There's uh, a hashtag on Twitter, bl hashtag block my walk. There are <laughs> folks that take pictures of sidewalks that are literally blocked because of construction and something I know uh, uh, the council member Berkeley Allen um, has had some legislation to try to I guess better and you know, get a better handle on the permitting process you know we're we're grow I mean I don't have to tell you this we're growing a lot as a city there are a lot of cranes in the air there's a lot of construction going on so that means there's a lot more permitting uh, for right-of-ways to allow you know those companies to use a sidewalk or a street lane for weeks or months or you know there's even years where they're in, they're in the right of way so we need to be a lot more cognizant of how those permits are being handled uh, that uh, pedestrians and, and 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 folks that are riding bicycles are having a way to still get around where you know I know there's a, a councilman that when this was coming up you know, if you're uh, someone that's handicapped, if you're traveling, particularly in, say, you know, Old Hickory Boulevard in South Nashville, you know, you may be going down a sidewalk, um, you maybe get like a, a quarter of a mile, half a mile down, and the sidewalk may be blocked. But you don't know that back at the intersection that you need to cross that where there's a crosswalk where you can cross safely. You know, just things like that. that so Met, uh, Public Works has put in um, some more regulations to where some of those folks that are doing uh, work in the right of way, you've got to put, you know, just simple things like that to, again, I think that's something where we're having to grow up as a city and put in rules and regs and ordinances in place to, um, to help those kind of folks in those kind of situations a lot better. And I bet you get a lot of comments. I mean, that's that's funny. There's a hashtag, block my walk. Yeah. And is that, is... is or is it don't block, I can't, it's, it's either don't block my walk or block, I can't remember, but yeah, um, walk back Nashville is, is at, and I retweet every single one of those because it's, it's, you know, if you're a pedestrian, if you're a bicyclist, that may be sometimes your only way to get to work. Or if you're riding a bus, um, or if you're handicapped, that you need to have a way to get to your place of work. And, you know, those, uh, we're becoming a city where a sidewalk is isn't sometimes as important as a, as, a, as a street. So we need to be aware of how we're allowing companies to work in that right of way. Because that's right of way, as I was saying before, at the polls, that Metro is in charge of. So we need to make sure that it's not just for, uh, for companies, but also for those pedestrians and bicyclists or, or just folks trying to get back and forth to work. 
And now there was during the last campaign there was a big there was some discussion about is is downtown getting more than its appropriate share of resources for sidewalks and those kinds of things? What 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 did you think about that? And are we are you seeing some some change in attitude there, or do you think there's still that perception, or where do you think we are with that? I would think there, there will always be that perception as long as there's the boom that is going on downtown. I know I heard that when I was door knocking in uh, in my district when I ran for council uh, during my election, and it's something I thought, and it's still something that I as I said, there will always at least be that perception. But I know when uh, Mayor Barry, one of the first things she did was uh, she put forth some some investment in sidewalks, and she told the council there will be sidewalks in every single council district. Um, so I think there's there's beginning to be a lot more of a countywide focus, and I hope, and as as a metro council, that's something that we have to make sure that the administration stays on. They, you know, there's a lot of investment that's going on downtown, you know, West End, all, you know, those areas, but to make sure that in, <coughs> excuse me, Caldwell, Abbey Hall, Paragon Mills, Nolensville Road still gets investment and still gets um, looked to to not only to sidewalks and roads, but to look for places for economic development of you know making sure that the Chamber of Commerce, if they are having someone come into Nashville um, to look for a place to locate, that they're looking down Nolensville Road or you know looking in Antioch or looking in Jolton or Madison or those places. Um, and I think they're starting to have a lot more of a county-wide focus, but you know that's the reason there's a, a, a representative body to make sure that the metro government does that. Um, so we'll we'll see if that uh, continues or if that speeds up because I don't think you could all, I don't think you could have enough of a focus because so, the natural focus for someone coming into down coming into Nashville is going to be the downtown area, or the Gulch, those areas. So I don't think you could try to to push out growth and economic. Uh, development and attention to um, places like my district uh, enough because that's just not a natural place that companies that come to Nashville look to. And all right, so Chair of Public Works, how did, how did you get that? Did you want that? Is that what, is, did you think, all right, this is an area that people in my uh, district have mentioned, sidewalks, paved roads, garbage pickup, those kinds of things. Is that, is that kind of where you wanted to be? Yes, I, I talked. I, I worked at, uh, at the legislature for about 10, 12 years, mostly working on transportation type issues. Um, so I asked Vice Mayor Briley as he was putting for, uh, putting together, uh, you know, committee lists, committee chairs, to to uh, see if he would put me as public works chair, at least put me on the committee, um, because it's something that I know about, it's something I'm passionate about. My dad worked at T has worked at TDOT for 30 plus years, um, and for some reason I'm just an infrastructure nerd. You know, I care about how the roads are built, how the streets are built. Um, you know how our utilities are done um, because infrastructure, roads, streets, sidewalks, utilities are kind of the backbone that if you don't have those in place, a good infrastructure, um, you're not going to have a uh, you know a growing, thriving city. You know we're facing that with transit now, where we don't have a good transit system, or at least we have a good enough transit system, but we need one that's uh, that's going to be growing a lot more with the city to to make our traffic better. Um, but we don't have that right now, and that's part of I think what is uh, what should be you know critical infrastructure uh, as the, a city you know has for its residences and businesses. Huge price tag there when you start talking about transit, but the other infrastructure, and then we'll take a break after. But the other infrastructure, do you think we have? Are we are we okay when when you start looking at the numbers of people that are moving into the city? Is our infrastructure prepared for that? I don't think so yet. I, don't, I think whether it's a transit system or sidewalks, um, Public Works is going through a synchronization of lights where that's a, it's not a cheap fix, but it's an inexpensive fix compared to, you know, we can't build more lanes, so let's make the lanes and the roads that we have, you know, more effective, you know, where you can, you know, go down Knowles Road, Gallatin Road, Charlotte, you know, Charlotte Pike, um, Lebanon Road, you can go down those streets and those roads a lot better, a lot more efficiently, instead of trying to build an extra lane or two, because those are just going to fill up. Um, this way you can get home a little bit better, go, that way you're not catching it, it won't, because, I mean, I've, I've caught every red light on a street, but this way it'll flow through, maybe you have 10 minutes of green lights, and, you know, moves traffic, just, you know, a 10% increase, a 15% increase is, is, would be great for any kind of, uh, busy pike or road that we have. I mean, as councilman, all right, we have to take a break. As councilman, I'm going to ask, what, what is the number one issue you get calls or emails or whatever sort of communication about? But we'll take a break, uh, then we'll come back. Take a break, be back right after this.